Many people believe that the size of the asteroid is the sole factor to consider when there is a chance that it may collide with Earth. However, this is untrue. When calculating the possible harms of an asteroid impact, there are other factors to consider. The quantity of kinetic energy that will be delivered to the surface in the case of an asteroid impact is one of the elements to consider. A shock wave is produced from the release of a tremendous quantity of energy. The mass, speed, and topography of the asteroid's impact on Earth, as well as other factors that will be covered later, will all affect how powerful the shock wave is. The possibility for harm is also significantly influenced by the entry angle. An asteroid can pass safely through the Earth's upper atmosphere's rarefied layers, but higher angled trajectories will increase an asteroid's potential for harm. With higher trajectories, the likelihood of shock waves, meteorites, tidal waves, explosions, and seismic activity, as well as the actual impact site and the formation of a crater, increases substantially. An asteroid's composition and density are important aspects to consider. We can observe from the meteorites that have reached Earth that the great majority of asteroids that have entered our atmosphere are composed primarily of rocks. These kind are most likely to break before they reach the surface of the Earth, and the harm will depend on how big the fragments are. Another more uncommon but harmful form are metallics, which have a larger density and are more resistant to atmospheric passage. These collisions will produce larger meteorites and more damage, because they have a higher chance of making it to the surface undamaged. The location of the asteroid's impact is crucial for determining the extent of the harm to humanity. Oceans occupy a large portion of our world, yet some areas of the continents remain uninhabitable. This causes us to initially draw the conclusion that there is extremely little chance that an asteroid impact will result in fatalities. However, if the asteroid hits the water, huge waves may be generated nearby that might go as far as coastal communities. Massive volumes of particles would be blasted into the atmosphere if the asteroid strikes in a land mass in addition to a huge shock wave, resulting in severe environmental harm on a worldwide scale and mass extinctions. Large asteroids will, as we all know, have devastating impacts wherever they strike. Let's examine the biggest impacts we are now aware of, as well as their circumstances and outcomes. Examining some events. One. In Chelyabinsk, a rocky-type asteroid with a diameter of around 20 meters and a mass of more than 10,000 tons struck Earth's atmosphere in 2013, more than 20 kilometers over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk. It produced a fireball and detonated. An amount of energy equal to roughly 30 atomic bombs was discharged in this explosion. Despite the great potential for destruction, the harm was only restricted to a few hundred people who suffered minor injuries, and a few hundred windows that were broken. The damage was only caused by the shock wave that the asteroid's explosion in the atmosphere caused because there was no real impact. Also to be considered is the fact that the asteroid slowed down as it approached Earth's atmosphere by less than 20 degrees, allowing the atmosphere to absorb some of its mass before it erupted. The effects would have been far more disastrous if the asteroid's composition had been metallic and the approach angle had been any higher. 2. Tunguska In 1908, an object in space with an estimated diameter of 100 meters collided with Earth's atmosphere and exploded at an altitude of around 10 kilometers. Witnesses described the explosion as producing a massive flash, a quick warmth, and a shock wave that knocked them backwards. Expeditions sent to look for answers regarding the incident discovered a wide, destroyed forest with trees that had been cut down and burned, but no crater. The absence of a crater indicates that the celestial body's nature, whether rock or ice, did not provide the necessary resistance to pierce the entire atmosphere and reach the surface. It is impossible to determine for sure if the object that produced this event was an asteroid or a comet. This incident happened in Siberia, a far-off and unpopulated area. If this had occurred in the center of Europe, 5,000 kilometers to the west, perhaps the tale of some nations would have been told differently. 3. 
A 50-meter-long asteroid struck Arizona in the United States around 50,000 years ago, creating the Behringer Crater. The impact produced a crater that was more than one kilometer in diameter and almost 200 meters deep, with an estimated trajectory angle of between 40 and 50 degrees. The asteroid was mostly made of iron and nickel, according to analysis of the fragments found buried beneath the crater, and this suggests that the asteroid was massive and dense enough to enter the whole Earth's atmosphere, get to the surface, and leave a crater that big. Four. Chick Zalub. A vast number of species on the globe, including dinosaurs, were wiped out by the impact that formed a crater with a diameter of around 180 kilometers on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, 66 million years ago. The parts of that puzzle are still being put together by other scientists, but this impact may have been triggered by a stony type of asteroid that was abundant in silicon and carbon compounds. It was roughly 10 kilometers in diameter and traveled towards the surface at an angle of about 60 degrees. It's possible that the sort of terrain where the impact took place also played a role in the disastrous situation by releasing massive quantities of gases and particles into the atmosphere, obstructing sunlight and lowering temperatures. The entire planet's ecosystem was significantly impacted by this. The largest known mass extinction event was caused by this series of variables, size, angle, and impact location.